morning YouTube welcome back to my channel kidney care coaching my name is Stephanie McCollum in today's video I'm going to discuss the do's and don'ts of CVC care the central venous catheter do's and don'ts okay I'm gonna look down at my notes so I don't miss anything first if you have a CVC you want to make every attempt to eventually get a permanent access, either a fistula or a graft, or at the very least, be evaluated and get the advice of a surgeon as to whether or not it will be successful to move forward. Before I get too far into the do's and don'ts, a lot of patients get very anxious about getting a permanent access in their arm because how it looks and because of scary stories they've heard from other patients or either family members talk about you know the dangers of an access in your arm please go to a surgeon get the surgeon's opinion the surgeon's opinion on how likely it will be for your access to 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 work and be successful so but a lot of patients start off with a CVC in their chest or their neck because most patients start off dialysis in an emergency situation. So if you have a CVC, it's nothing that we want you to keep long term. But if you have one, these are the do's and don'ts of taking care of your CVC so you eliminate or dramatically reduce the risk of infection or any sort of problem. Number one, we want you to check your CVC every day for signs and symptoms of an infection, meaning is there strange drainage coming, strange drainage from the, from the exit site, from where the, the tube enters your skin, the exit site. Is there drainage there? Is there a funny smell? Um, anything, anything out of the ordinary out of the ordinary immediately let someone know or you may have to go to the emergency room if let's say it's Friday night and you don't go back to dialysis until Monday you know that potential infection could be going absolutely bonkers in just that two 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 day period of time because you have to think about where the CVC is entering the skin that area is warm it can be moist if people sweat a lot and then they put a covering over it so all of those things are kind of breeding grounds for germs and bacteria so you definitely want to check it regularly for infection okay please try to keep the catheter dressing dry do not take a shower because bacteria and germs love moisture so please keep it dry you want to have regular dialysis because let's say if you don't go to dialysis for a week, which I know most patients would not do, but it does happen, your catheter is not being evaluated by the dialysis nurses and technicians. In a lot of facilities, they change the catheter dressing every single treatment. That's probably the gold standard. Some patients, some clinics or groups only do it about once a week, but the gold standard is to do it every single day, okay? So if you don't go to dialysis, you're not getting your catheter dressing changed and it's not being looked at by a dialysis nurse or professional. So if something were, if they were to spot something, they can immediately get on it versus if you're out for a week, you know, it's just going crazy if there's an infection. Like I said, uh, don't shower, do, don't get it wet, don't dig around the catheter. I know sometimes people say that it itches, but try not to, try not to. And don't attempt to clean your catheter at home. If you have been trained how to do it, that's one thing. But if you think you're gonna take some peroxide or alcohol, run it over your, don't, do not, under 99% of circumstances, do not attempt to change your catheter at home unless you have gotten specific instructions by the nurse, the doctor, or someone at the dialysis center. But please do not change your catheter dressing at home. Don't put anything on it. Don't put anything in it. Because you gotta remember the dialysis catheter is, even though it's going in your chest or your neck, it's actually tunneled to the atrium of the heart in most cases. So any kind of bacteria or germs that you that were to get in the catheter can migrate 
to the heart and cause severe problems. I have seen where patients have had infections in their heart valves or all sorts of terrible, terrible problems that took months and months of, of antibiotics and treatment in order to, to improve. So the, in the long or the short of it, you know, we don't want you to have a catheter, but if you have a catheter, make every attempt to get a permanent access and if you happen, while you do have a catheter, you want to keep it clean and dry, don't dig in it, don't get it wet, don't take a shower, don't try to clean it yourself, and please do not put anything in it. Keep it tucked away so it doesn't get caught on anything. Those are just some, some of the tips that they teach in the dialysis unit, but I just wanted to reiterate this, this information for patients who do have a central venous catheter. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video, and please leave any comments below or any suggestions for future videos you'd like for me to record. And please, oh, and, and also subscribe to my channel and push that notification bell so that you don't miss on any fresh new content. Thank you, y'all have a good one.